we'll guide you through how to download and install NeoForge in Minecraft 1.21.6. If you find this useful, then please consider subscribing and liking the video. As you probably know, NeoForge is a mod loader, so it's going to allow us to go and use mods. To get started, let's go and quit Minecraft. Here we are on the desktop, and then what we need to do is go and open up a web browser of your choice, and you want to go and search for NeoForge Minecraft, just like so, to make sure we get to the right place. And you can come to neoforge.net. Now, what you want to do is at the top is you can go and see the installers here. You can click for other versions and go to the full version list just to make sure we get what you want. In the top right here, we can go and select 1.21.6. And then in the top, you will see the option for download. Click there and it's now gone and downloaded. So we've now got NeoForge, but of course you probably want to go and get some mods for it as well. You can go and search for a site called CurseForge and go to curseforge.com. Now what we can do is we can go and find the option for Minecraft and go and click there. And then you can press browse all at the top. What we can do is scroll down here and go and filter for NeoForge and also the game version 1.21.6. Now what we can do is go and find a mod you may want. For example, in this case, I'm gonna go and get Zero's Minimap. I'll go and click here. We can then press files at the top. Now what we can do is we can go and find it for 1.21.6 in NeoForge. I'll press the three dots to the right and press download file. Now wait for this to download. It now has. Before we start installing, a big shout out to the sponsor of this video, Apex Hosting. If you're in need of a Minecraft server, there'll be a link down below in the pinned comment and the description. At the moment, you can get yourself a discount as well. They've got so many great features. For example, one click install mod packs, DDoS protection, 24 seven servers and support, ultra latency and instant setup when you go and purchase your server and be ready to play in seconds. So loads of benefits to it. If you're interested, there'll be a link down below. A big thanks to them for sponsoring. To continue with the guide, go and open up File Explorer and you can come to your downloads, press it to the left and you want to find NeoForge. Go and double click on it like so and it should go and launch like this. Now if it doesn't, maybe nothing happens or something else happens, we need to go and get Java. So go and open up a web browser of your choice and go to java.com. Here you can press download Java for desktops and download it. And then what you can do is go and install it like any other app return to NeoForge and right click on it, hover over open with, and you want to press choose another app, select Java and press always, and it should then go and run. If it still doesn't, you may need to do something called a jar fix, which links jar and jar files together again. Select install client and you can go and press proceed and now it will run through. It's now been successful, we can press okay. Now go and open up the Minecraft launcher, go to the top and you can press installations. Now you can go and scroll down and go and find NeoForge. Hover over it and press the folder icon to the right, now you want to scroll down here and go and find the mods folder. Come into it, come back to your downloads and you can then drag and drop in the mods like so. If you've got multiple, that's fine. Just make sure they're for the same version. Now hover over NeoForge and press play to the right. Understand that the wrist, you're playing a modified version. Here we are, you can press mods and we can go and see the mod I added there. Now let's get into a world. You can see the mod I added in the top right, but of course the mod you got may be different. But that's it. Leave a like if you found this useful. And if you need a Minecraft server, go and check out Apex. Thank you for watching.